It's the top of the hour, so we'll get started. Um, I'd like to welcome everyone to today's GLOMCON. I'm Dio Wagesback in Houston. And we are excited today to have Dr. Nicole Enlich. And her talk today is Super Resolution Microscopy and More, Tools Revolutionizing Research and Drug Discovery for Glomerulopathies. Thank you very much, uh, Dia. It's really great uh, that you have invited me to present uh, the data of my group as well as of my startup. And I will share now my screen. So, hope you can see it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Looks good. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, it's really a great pleasure to be here and to try to convince you that super resolution microscopy is really an amazing tool to change and to accelerate research and drug discovery for glomerulopathies. So here is my disclosure. So here in this scanning electron microscopic image, you can see the podocyte covering the outer aspect of the capillary. And this morphology you see with the tiny foot processes here and the interdigitation with the neighboring cells wire uh, and performing the slit membrane is highly important for the function. Only in this really excellent interdigitation uh, is um, responsible for the size selectivity of the filtration barrier. In between of this interdigitating foot processes, you find also, or you will see later on, the slip membrane. Any changes of the morphology will also lead to a change of the filtration process. In many glomerulopathies like FSGS, diabetic nephropathies and other glomerulopathies, the morphology of these podocyte foot processes are affected to various degree. You can see here a broadening of the foot processes. Since the size of the foot processes is below the resolution of a normal light microscope, ultrastructural analysis was only possible by electron microscopy in the past. And you can see here a cross section and the normally formed foot processes with a slit membrane in between, covering the outer aspect of the capillary. Here you see the glomerular basement membrane that uh, you cannot see these uh, tiny foot processes with a normal light microscope is due to the Ernst Abbe's law. And Ernst Abbe's law decided or um, um, determines the resolution of a light microscope around 200 nanometer because the distance to resolve two independent uh, points or structure is dependent on the wavelength. Therefore, you can see here, the foot processes and the slit frame is only visible by using electron microscopy. I'm not sure whether you have had contact with the EM technique. However, it's really a sophisticated technique and highly time consuming. You have only one to three glomeruli with a thickness of 50 to 90 nanometer with a specific fixation and specific embedding. And the analysis is mainly subjective a subjective with a limited reproducibility. I will show you an example here. On the left hand side, you see the podocyte covering the GBM, and you see mainly healthy foot processes attached to the GBM. On the right hand side, you see an effacement, and this is not really uh, difficult to determine. However, what is the situation in between? You have some areas with an effaced situation, and as well as something in between and healthy areas. Quantification of the effacement is therefore not easy and highly subjective, and it requires an expert due to an additional problem, the dissection angle bias. To compare it with a normal situation, it is like if you would like to know something about your weight and you see only too much instead of a value. In the past, in my research group, I thought, okay, are really one to three glomeruli from 25,000 uh, in mice and one million in human with a thickness of 80 nanometer really representative? Is there any possibility to have a fast, exact, unbiased and reproducible value? And we have had the luck to get the super resolution microscope. And this is a new type of light microscopic technique that overcomes the physical limitation I have shown you given by Ernst Abbe. And we use the super resolution microscope, it's called an abbreviation SIM. In general, super resolution microscopy was developed by these people here, like Stad or Palm, and they have got the Nobel Prize in the year 2014. They have developed different types of super resolution microscopic techniques. So as I told you, they're SIM, STAT, STORM, and PALM. 
we use SIM. SIM stands for Structured Illumination Microscopy. 